They want to test you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, where? NBC Burbank. 7 o'clock. Wally says, call me an hour before you leave. So I go halfway across town to a buddy's house who is one of my supporters in sobriety. Take somebody along. I've never done that in my life. And I said, uh, Bernardo, would you please? He said, sure, sure. No, he was not in the business at all. He was a um, good fellow. Took him along. Uh, called from Bernardo's. That's right, because it was then over Laurel Canyon into over NBC Burbank. And, uh, and he said, okay. You can go. We negotiated the deal. I said, oh, okay. I didn't even ask. So whatever it is. And uh, I go over and we wait and we wait. And I walk in. It's quiet. Long corridors. And people start arriving. First, Trinidad Silva. I just saw a glimpse of him because I'm making a copy. This little figure, the little guy, came in. And he said, do you mind? Hi, I'm Trini. Trini. I said, hi, Trini. Do you mind if I play my my uh, shepherd's pipe? I said, no, not at all. So he sat down, cross-legged against the wall, and he played the shepherd's pipe. It was really charming. Then this dynamo came flying through the door, and then went down that way and went through another one and came back out, and it was Kiel Martin. I mean, behaving as if he were high, you know, I don't know what, maybe just energy like mine. And I thought, oh, oh, ooh, I'm probably testing him for the captain too. I swear, that's what I thought. Kiel said, really, you thought that? I said, well, yeah. I mean, wouldn't you? I don't know. I don't know who these people are. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's in there. I've been called here, and I'm here. And then Barbara Bossen showed up, and then St and Stephen. The others were already inside. And they all went in, and there was Bob Butler, and in the booth, covered furniture again. They took off covers. I said, oh boy, Joseph Anthony, New York City, 1964. <laughs> Sit down on the furniture. And all they did was, we held scripts. Didn't have to learn anything. It's only a day's notice. And they had a TV camera and, a, and a guy, an operator, obviously, and we did some scenes. Oh, and there was a blonde woman, an actress. Uh, and she said to me at one break, uh, oh, it's wonderful you're going to play this part. And I said, no. You're not, but you're so good. And I said, well, thanks, I'm so are you, but no, no. It made her feel a little better, I think, because she didn't know exactly why she was there. And I said, no, no, I've seen these people a couple of times. She said, oh, you have? I said, yeah. And she said, well, it's really a pleasure. I mean, it's really kind of fun. I said, yeah, it is, but, you know, I don't know what they're doing. Said, okay, everybody, ready? We'll do another scene at the desk. And, blah, 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 blah. and then when they're all finished, they all filed out of the booth. I remember Michael and everybody sh shook hands and hugged me and hugged the others and said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Trini, Barbara never did anything, I think. Keel may have done a scene. I don't honestly remember. I mean, the only thing about me, me, me. No. I remember that uh, Barbara did nothing. They had her there just in case. I don't know. I don't know that they had too much planned. And Bob Butler was very sweet, very gentle and uh, encouraging. It was all very relaxed and nice. And said, now don't worry about it, don't anything. Just 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 get in here and just do what you do. You know, just read the stuff and that's all we we'll get we'll get a, we'll get the shots. Don't worry about positioning or anything. And as Kozel hugged me, he said, I want you. I said, I could be had. And they left. I said, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what's going on now. 